Hey, what's up guys? So I've got another video on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So I'm going to be testing out the uh, Nightscape pictures and giving you guys a before and after set of photos as well to see actually how good the Nightscape feature is. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Okay, so I've taken a few amounts of pictures, both in various different low lighting conditions. Some are outdoors in the sunset and also at nighttime in the middle of the night. Some are indoors in various different places around the house and some are in my back garden showing different parts of the house as well, just to give you a variety. And there's also some that I've taken of myself outdoors as well in very low lighting conditions. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So this first photo here is uh, as the sun was setting of my car in front of the house. So as you can see on the right hand side, I can see the nightscape picture gives you a little bit more details of the car itself and it has actually brightened up the picture. But nonetheless, because there's still a significant amount of daylight, it's not a massive improvement, but you can definitely see the difference. Next, this is a picture of my lobby in the uh, house as well. So the lights were off. In uh, reality, it was pretty dark in there, but uh, the pictures coming out from the auto version is actually quite clear. But you can see on the Nightscape version, it's just brightened it up a little bit and it's not a huge difference, but it is pretty significant nonetheless. Next, this one was slightly uh, very closely matched. Now the picture you see here in my living room TV, the lights were off in the living room. So generally the auto picture did pick up enough of the quality and brighten up the picture. And this is one of those pictures that were very difficult to tell the difference and were almost pretty much the same. The only difference you can see in the Nightscape one is made it a little bit sharper and the clarity around the edges of the TV, it feels less blurry and it just stands out a little bit more. But nonetheless, it wasn't a massive improvement in this situation. Now looking at my staircase, it was pitch black and Auto has done a really good job, but it is a little bit blurry, picking out some of the end of the hallway flowers and a bit of the lighting from upstairs. But the Nightscape version has brightened it up and again, it's sharpened it. It's not the massive amount of difference that I was expecting. This is a picture of my garden. As you can see, the Nightscape one has brightened it up a little bit, but you can see on the top right hand corner of the uh, lights in the window of the house in the background, you can see it stands out a little bit more. It's sharpened it. The auto pictures are basically blurring a lot of the uh, low lighting condition photos. And what the Nightscape one does as well, it sharpens it so it gives you more clarity and gives that little bit of a brightness boost. Now this one is a little bit disappointing in my opinion. So as I was standing outside in the dark, now the sun has already fully set, even though you can see a bit of the blue sky. This is what the uh, HDR Plus has done on the camera. Now in auto, obviously it's terrible. You can't see pretty much any of my features on my face or anything like that. Nightscape mode, I am disappointed in this because it feels like someone has just put in an Instagram filter on top of the auto picture to try and make it stand out a little bit more. And it's still a little bit blurry and none of the features were actually as good as I hoped they to be. So if you are out and about and you want to take pictures at nighttime, you need to find some really good lighting source as well because this picture, just tells you in very dark conditions with no lighting around, it's not gonna do a very good job. Now going back to the car in front of my house, the sun has fully set, it's actually dark now, and here you can see a big significant difference. So I see a lot of the brightness coming through on the nightscape picture, although the car does seem a little bit washed out and you lose a bit of the blacks. So for landscape photography, I think nightscape does a really good job, but just to note that there are street lamps that are well lit on the street here. So that does factor in a lot of the situation when using nightscape mode. Again, this was in my living room. The lights were completely off. Auto's done a good job picking out most of the uh, features on this uh, flower in the vase. Uh, but you can see in the nightscape mode, it's much sharper, clearer details, and it's slightly brighter. This one, a view out my window. You can see again in the same situations as the previous photos, the blurriness on the left-hand side compared to the sharpness on the right-hand side. It's not a massive amount of difference, but you can slightly see an improvement there. If I was to say, is it worth using Nightscape mode to take that extra three seconds to take the photo? In this situation, probably not because the auto has done a good enough job, but it's again where you're taking the pictures and why you're taking the photos as well. Do you really need Nightscape mode? That's the situation you need to consider. Now, this is a photo pointing at my house. It's actually pitch dark at nighttime, even though it's brightened up the sky to make it look like it's just sunset. 
but uh, you can see in the clarity of the lights within the house the uh, sharpness really shines through on the right hand side and actually if you look at the coloring on the bricks of the wall it does come a lot better in the right hand side nightscape photo and finally a picture of my car here in the driveway you can see that the uh, right hand side nightscape mode it's actually not a massive amount of difference from the left hand side but I'd like to point out the uh, light reflection from the lamppost on the bonnet there. You can see it's been spread out and made it less reflective in the nightscape mode, whereas in the auto mode, it's just shining right through in that one particular spot. So this is why I would really go for the nightscape photo in this situation. So that was a short overview of some of the photos I've taken with the uh, nightscape mode on the OnePlus 7 Pro. In my opinion, I think the nightscape mode has pretty much disappointed me. It's probably not as good as the Google Pixel night sight. I have seen better night modes in other phones. So based on these pictures that you've just seen, I would probably not use the nightscape mode that much, unless it really is terrible coming out in the auto modes. But I would say that a lot of the times, the auto and the nightscape modes are going to be very similar. You'll just be sharpening the photos slightly and slightly brightening them using nightscape mode. In my opinion, if you take just the normal photos that were taken on auto, you can put them on any photo editing app, even Photoshop or even Instagram. You can sharpen it and brighten it yourself and that will be the equivalent of what the nightscape mode is doing on the OnePlus 7 Pro. So overall, it's nothing special. I'm probably not gonna use it hardly ever. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Would you use nightscape mode? Have you taken some awesome pictures that the auto camera cannot do? So let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope that was useful for you. I hope you liked this video. I hope you subscribe, and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.